Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my update on my Project Pan Roulette and let me tell you guys, it has been a challenge. I'm already going to tell you that I'm going to be switching one of the products out because there is just no way I'm going to use that thing up. So I will tell you guys about it in a minute, but I am doing this in collaboration with my friend Alex. If you guys did miss my intro to my Project Pen Roulette, we decided to do this together and I'm so glad that we are doing it together because we can just support each other. I told her the other day that I'm not doing good on some products and I will be switching some out. I'm thinking about switching one, but I'm going to keep trying on it and I will tell you guys which one it is. Now I know that I'm not going to use some of the stuff up but I want to at least hit pen on it. Period. If I can do that I will be a happy camper. So make sure to head over to Alex's channel. I cannot wait to watch her video. Actually I'm pretty sure she's doing better than me. You're probably already subscribed to her as well because I do talk a lot, of, a lot about her on my channel and I just love her to pieces. We've become really close lately and she's just a really great friend. So if you are coming over from Alex's channel, welcome. My name is Lisa. I hope that you guys subscribe and let's just get started. The first product I'm going to talk about is the product that I know that I'm not going to finish. And if you guys watched my last video, you probably can already guess which product it is. And yes, it is the Chanel Universal Powder. I tried, you guys, but honestly, I am not in love with this powder. I don't like the way it looks on my skin. It looks very caked on and powdery. I've tried using it different ways and I just cannot fall in love with it and I know I'm not going to finish it. So I'm going to be switching this out for two other products just to make it fair. I know I shouldn't do that but I am and I don't, I, I was going to pick like another loose powder but I don't own any because I just stay clear from them. So the two that I'm replacing it with are these two right here. First is the Buxom Call Me Liner which was in my last project pen, that one is done, and I knew that I was gonna switch it out for this. Um, it's still, I still have quite a bit left, and I'm going to mark this one down on a piece of paper. I haven't done that yet, just because I ha this is, I haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna start fresh. This is gonna be day one for me, so I'll mark it down for you guys, and then in the next update, I will report back on how well I am doing. And the other one is the Lancome Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. I just have a little bit left of this, but a little bit goes a long way. So I have a feeling I have another month's worth of this stuff. Like, I really don't need a lot of it, and I do love this concealer. So we shall see. I, I should finish this, right? <laughs> so those are the two that I'm switching out. Um, the next item is the Tom Ford Blush in Flush, and I love this. I do, but since my first video, I have not touched this. I maybe touched it four times and that was it. I'm a blush junkie. I love rotating my blushes and I have so many in my collection that it's hard to, just to kind of stick with one. It's kind of like a lipstick for me. I wear a different lipstick every single day, but this I'm going to continue using. Again, I'm not going to finish this. I already know that because a blush is very hard to finish up, but I want to at least hit pan. So that is our goal. Well, that's my goal anyways, but it's such a beautiful color. Like, look at that. Even in the viewfinder, I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh my God, you are so gorgeous. I love Tom Ford blushes. Let's talk about the Physicians Formula Cushion Foundation. I've been really enjoying this. I don't see myself repurchasing this. I've used this a lot lately and just because I want to get rid of it. It's not bad, it's just not my favorite, but I think I'm almost done with this, you guys. Like, I feel like I keep dipping my brush in there to get some product, and it's, I feel like it's drying up on me. So that actually makes me a little bit sad because for a drugstore product, this was quite pricey, and I feel like it should last me a little bit longer, and I've only had this for maybe a couple months now, maybe? and it's already drying up on me. So I have a feeling that I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. So that actually makes me very excited, but sad at the same time because I haven't had it for a really long time. And I mean, I've never used up a foundation before, maybe once. Yeah, once I, no, actually a couple times I did. So this would be my third foundation that I ever used up and I only had it for a couple months. So just be aware of that if you do plan on purchasing it. I, I like it, but Again, I just don't see myself buying it again, so. But I do like cushion foundations. I do want to try others. 
that I have on my list. <laughs> Next is the CoverFX Custom Infusion Drops. I absolutely love this product and I'm doing really well on it. I used to be right above where it says Cover FX, and you're probably not even gonna see it. And I am now down to where it says Custom Infusion Drops. That's, I need to put like, I need to maybe put tape around this and maybe mark it that way because it keeps rubbing off. So I just kind of memorize where I left off and where I am now. For, so I just have to maybe, maybe I'll have to do that is just put tape around it. If you guys have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I love this stuff. I use it in the morning and the night. Morning and the night. <laughs> I use it morning and night, sorry. I put it in my moisturizer and also in my night cream and it just does wonders for my skin. And I love the smell of it. I have the calming one. Next is the MAC Pro Longwear Eyeshadow in Uninterrupted. Honestly, I've been using this a lot lately and <laughs> I mean, this is a very pigmented eyeshadow. Again, my goal is to hit pan on it. I know I'm not gonna finish it up, but if I can at least hit pan on it, I will be very, very happy. I love this eyeshadow. It's one of my all-time favorite colors. I just love wearing this in the crease. And just even alone, I just, I love wearing it. So it's just a great, great eyeshadow. The Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in Brulee. This was in my last project pan. Again, it's in this as well. And it's still going strong. I'm actually getting a little smaller brush to use up the rest of it because it's all around the rim. So this is almost done. I already purchased a backup because that's how much I love it. I use it to set my eyes. I use it to set my under eyes. I use it to clean up my contour. <laughs> so, I mean, this little guy will last you a really, really long time. I'm going to try and do some before and after pictures for you. I'm still learning my editing program. I was playing around with it the other day and trying to figure out how to insert pictures. I still can't figure it out. So I'm going to maybe see if my brother can come over and maybe help me with it. But I might be getting a new computer for my birthday. Well, we will see. <laughs> okay, moving on to the Naked Basics palette. Again, I will try and do before and after pictures. I wanted to use the color Foxy. And to be honest with you guys, I just started using it a week ago since my last video, just because I was trying to use this up as much as I could. But now that my last project pan is done, I'm definitely gonna be working on this. And I'm also trying to work on this as well. So I usually just mix the two together and I use it to um, just highlight my brow bone. And I do love the Naked Basics. I also own the Naked Basics too, which I don't show a lot of love, but, um, I do really love this. Will I repurchase it? I don't know. I don't know. I I don't think so. But I, I have enjoyed it while it's lasting. <laughs> and the last three products I have here for you. Now, this is the Honey Bee Chapstick. Honey Bee Gardens Chapstick. And this is in the flavor Vanilla Pie. And I love this. I think this is a great chapstick. I'm not going to open it up for you because I did twist it up all the way the first time, just so I can tell you guys how it was on day one. Oh, I don't know if you guys are going to see that. So day one is right here on that line and here is day two. So I've used quite a bit of it. So I keep it on my bedside. I put it on in the morning before I put on lipstick and I also put it on at nighttime. The other one is the lip pencil. Again, I, I'm not going to roll it up because I'm just scared it's going to break on me. I have a lot left of this. I did not use a lot of it. This is the Mural Norman Lip Pencil in Neutrals. And I do love it to fill in my lips. It's my lips but better. I can even outline my lips and make them look a little bit fuller. And I do really like it. I do recommend it. So let's see if I can focus in on that. See, my light is just way too bright. Okay, so there is day one, and here is day two. So not bad, not bad, you guys, now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> okay, and the last product is my Chanel Boy lipstick, and I've been doing really well with this too, you guys. I'm super impressed. I carry this with me everywhere, and when I remember to apply lipstick, this is what I will use. Um, usually I put on the lipstick that I want to wear for the day I put on in the morning or in the afternoon whenever I put my my makeup on 
And then when I feel like my lips are getting dry or chapped, then this is what I will use to put on top, which I do have on today. And I do like this, but Chanel is not cruelty free. And if you are new to my channel, I am trying to get rid of some of my cruelty free makeup items. So I will tell you guys how I did, if it will focus. So on that red line is day one. And on the second line is day two. So I think I'm doing, I'm doing good on that product. I'm really, really proud of myself because it's a lipstick. It's really hard to go through a lipstick and this will probably be the very first lipstick that I will ever go through. <laughs> so that is my update. I will probably update you guys in a month or two. Whenever Alex is doing hers, I will be doing it at the same time just because we started it together and we are going to finish together. So let me know how you guys did in the comments down below because I know there's a few of my subscribers doing this as well. So I want to hear about your uh, progress and don't forget to head over to Alex's channel and show her some love and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.